Hello, welcome to The Update. I'm Susie Thompson. A crowd of 60,000 will fill the MCG tonight to celebrate the life of Shane Warne. His dad says the state memorial will be the send-off Warney would have wanted. Sir Donald Bradman's granddaughter Greta will sing the national anthem. She says her granddad adored the Spin King. He just absolutely had a massive soft spot for Shane Warne. I think it wasn't just what he could do with the ball, it was the man that he was, so unashamedly himself. A search is underway for a woman missing on the north coast after getting stuck in floodwaters. She was last seen south of Lismore, trapped in her vehicle. Residents of northern New South Wales are being warned the coming weeks are likely to be difficult even once the current flood crisis passes. Lismore's Wilsons River has broken the town's levee again, forcing evacuations. The Richmond and Bellinger Rivers are also flooding. Meantime, there's been criticism of a lack of warnings before towns went under. There was no alert for Byron Bay, which has been inundated dated by flash flooding, with up to 300 millimetres falling in just 12 hours. The Prime Minister denies the big spending federal budget is just about buying votes ahead of the election. Almost $9 billion has been spent on easing cost of living pressures, with the fuel excise halved and one-off $250 payments to pensioners and concession card holders. Middle income earners will also get an additional $420 back at tax time. The bad news, wages aren't keeping up with inflation, but we're being promised to jump on those later in the year. Labor says that's just political spin. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky will address a joint sitting of federal parliament tomorrow to thank Australia for its ongoing support amid the Russian invasion. And the Queen has made her first public appearance in five months, Her Majesty attending a Thanksgiving service for her late husband, Prince Philip, at Westminster Abbey. In sport, Newcastle's Mitch Barnett says he's learned the hard way. He can't be careless about player safety. The NRL judiciary has suspended him for six games for dangerous contact after he struck the head of Penrith forward Chris Smith with a raised forearm. And in tennis, all three remaining Aussies in the Miami Open have been eliminated by seeded players. Darius Saville was beaten by Belinda Bencic. Nick Kyrgios went down to Yannick Sinner. And Thanasi Kokonakis was accounted for by world number four, Alex Verev. And in entertainment news, Jem Carey has taken a huge swipe at the Oscars crowd over the Will Smith slap saga. The comedian says he was sickened the actor got a standing ovation after he took out Best Act just moments after hitting Chris Rock. And that's the latest from the Nova podcast news team. We'll see you tomorrow morning for another episode of The Update. I'm Susie Thompson.